Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name's Oak. Some people call me the Pokemon Professor. This land is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are treated as pets. Others use them to battle. But let's get right down to the chase. Tell me a bit about yourself. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm, I'm a boy. What is your name? Uh, uh, Red. My name is Red. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Well then, your adventure in the world of Pokemon awaits. Thank you for coming, Red. I have three Pokemon for you. What happened to your hair? I can't get a haircut. No, but like... Please choose a Pokemon. We have Squirtle, the tiny turtle Pokemon, Charmander, the fire lizard Pokemon, and Bulbasaur, the sea Pokemon. Hmm. Let me think. Charmander, Charmander, Charmander. I'll take Squirtle. I'm so done. No, I'll take Charmander. Good choice. Would you like to give it a nickname? Um, no thanks. I'm good. Well then, your equipment's on the table over there. Five Pokeballs. But before you go, can you do me a favor? Okay, sure. What is it? I need you to deliver this letter to West Island College. What's West Island College? Is that a Pokemon? That sounds awesome. No, no, no. It's a private school. I've never heard of that one. You know, the one founded in 1974 by Terry Davies? No, but where is it? It's on A51 Tecumseh, in Dollar Desormo. Okay, I'll go. See you later, for Gabe. No puns in the lab. competition starts with two teams, and each team consists of two robots. Each side of the arena has one teammate each. The goal is to take the cylindrical game pieces and put them into one of the two scoring panels. Each of the ten slots on the scoring panels is three units of length deep. The playing pieces are either blue or yellow, and have one of three different lengths, one, two, or three units of length. In order to score, the team has to put their respective color pieces in the panels. As if the competition wasn't already hard enough, somebody thought it would be a great idea to put a revolving door in the middle of the playing field. Not only that, but there's a seriously complicated scoring system that I just don't understand. How does the robot do that? Well, in order to explain this, we've divided the robot into two sections, the base and the arm. Firstly, the base is the platform with six wheels attached, two motorized wheels in the middle of the platform, and four swivel wheels, one in each corner. The second section, which is the arm, can be divided into three smaller sections. The first part is the support for the arm. Attached to the support is the arm, which can rotate. This will allow us to reach the highest tubes on the scoring panel. And finally, we have the claw, which is attached to the arm. The claw will pick up the pieces and place them in the scoring panel in order to get points. This is the robot Pokemon design that we will use to dominate the competition and help us win Pokemon battles. That's awesome! You know, we could really use some help testing out our robot. You mind helping us out? Sure. Yeah. Okay, here's its Pokeball. Alright, you know what? I'll be right back. You want to battle? I can. Why not? I can only battle you when you walk in front of me. Okay, why? Just play along with it, alright? Okay, whatever. Let's battle! 